ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that tier list subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1K sexy ladder. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all jokes aside, thank you so much for all the support. It really does mean the world to me. It's that time again. It's time to talk about the butt cheek decks of the format. Ah, <laughs> so, all jokes aside, first of all, we got to get Mystic Mind here at the bottom because that shit is banned. <laughs> so, uh, I want to do a tier list video. Uh, obviously, you're going to have the tier zero all the way down to the booty booty butt cheek category. Um, I want to make something clear, though, going into this because, as I've said before, you know, I really want some likes on this tier list because I seem to always get trolls and haters on my tier list videos. I think it's just because I'm a blunt prick of an entertainer. Um, but... I am going to differentiate between decks that can do well at locals and those that will not do well at regionals and YCSs. So please let me know by the end of this video, after you're done watching, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this type of way of doing tier list videos and videos even in general, uh, possibly, if you know you want me to talk more about what can do well at locals. That's how I'm going to approach this particular tier list so that people aren't just like, oh, well, what if I just play it at locals? Eh. You know, I'm going to differentiate between what can do well at locals and what can't do well at the regional or the YCS level. And also, I just realized I just put all of these in the order that I wanted to be in. And then when I went into presentation mode, it didn't save. Whatever. Let's just go ahead and start with the obvious here. Tier zero, baby. Yeah. If you're not playing a deck that beats tier Ishizu, you're doing it wrong. Ha <laughs> ha. So in all seriousness, yeah, this deck is tier zero. If you don't know the deck exists, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, it does well at locals, regionals, YCSs, your grandma's basement. It does well everywhere. It is the deck to beat. No other deck can match it in power except for tier one decks, which is, of course, Flunda, 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 Wheeze, Flunda, Wheeze, as well as Sprite. So here is the interesting thing, if I can scoot this up a little bit here. Here's the interesting thing. So with the changes in the ban list, I feel that the tier list, like tier one status in particular, it goes Flunder and then Sprite. You know, Flunder now has access to nine cards that all say, no graveyard for you, bitch. <laughs> you know, they already play 3D Shifter, and they may or may not main or side deck 3D Fisher with three Macrocosmo. And keep in mind, too, that we now have three metaverse in a format where we have three necro valley which leads me to the point about exo sister i do feel like exo sister can potentially still keep up uh tier two oh no i'm actually gonna say it's tier 1.5 you know a lot of people i've seen online talking about this format they're just like well i'm just gonna take three metaverse and three necro valley and throw them in my side deck and call it a day because it's just such a consistent way to get to a field spell, you know, not to mention that you could be playing trap trick to get you to the metaverse because it's a normal trap. So then you're just playing even more copies of a way to get to a field spell. It's really disgusting. It makes Flunder very malleable, uh, very adaptable that, I mean, if you're playing this going into the tier matchup, I mean, you open up D shifter, you just win the ball game. If you go second and like, you're just able to break their board and set up Necro Valley, Magnificent Map or whatever, a barrier statue with a banishing like Fissure or Macrocosmos, like how are you not winning that game? Uh, you know, same goes for Sprite, but in a different sense, you know, the fact that the pure version can play so many hand traps is just disgusting. Um, you know, they're playing 12 to 15 hand traps to be able to beat tier. And honestly, that's the both good and bad thing about a tier zero format is that if you're not playing one of these decks and designing like one of these three designed to beat tier, you're going to have a hard time. Unless you're playing something rogue that just has a decent matchup against everything, you're going to have a really hard time, no matter what level of an event you go to, locals, regionals, what have you. Exo Sister being 1.5, you know, yeah, they do have access to the same cards that Flunder and everything else does, even like Grimmaju and shit, being able to banish a bunch of stuff, but it's the matter of being able to keep up. And I feel that Flunder and Sprite really just outpace them. Now, you may be wondering, well, why was the OCG having this be a second best deck? Well, that could be for a lot of reasons. They could be just because they have a different ban list than us. It could be that just more people over in the OCG like to play Exo Sister. It's not a bad deck by any stretch of the imagination. It's still at full power. But I feel that the TCG player base focuses more on playing either the Tier 0 deck or Flunder or Sprite and designing those decks to beat Sprite. 
Exorcist are still good. It won a YCS last format. I just don't think that it's going to see as much play anymore, especially in this new format. Ah, moving on here. Crystal Beast, the deck that made me go 3-1-3 to fucking regional. Fuck me. <laughs> so, this deck is rogue beyond all fucking belief. Don't take this to regional or YCS. You'll get your booty hole stomped in. Take it to locals. You'll have a good time at locals. You'll probably piss some people off. Be sure you know how the hell Crystal Conclave works, because I didn't know that shit, and I got beat by Cash Tira. And then that same Cash Tira player played my dad at the regional and got his asshole stomped in. It was a beautiful thing, and he was a salty little bitch, too. Ah, sorry, had to get that on out of my system. So, Brandon, this is a tough one. This is genuinely a tough one. I gotta put it in Tier 2. Now, why am I putting this in Tier 2 and Extra Sister above it? Because of the fact that we do have a lot more Banishing. Now, Branded can pull things out of the Banish Zone with things like Lubelion, but Lubelion is one card. If they're not able to get to that Lubelion, whether it be because of a hand trap stopping them from using the effect, or if they're not able to just pop off and make a good enough board through a D-Shifter or a Fissure or Macro, it's going to have a hard time. When it starts snowballing, oh, there's nothing like it, Sugar Boo Bear. <laughs> but if it can't snowball, it's going to get dominated. So keep that in mind if you're going to play Branded. Shout out to my homie Derek. Not the Valley D Derek, but my other homie also named Derek that's been playing Branded. Uh, Derek, you, you better be watching this video, Pim, because your your Branded deck's tier two. Uh, Alter Guys is booty booty butt cheeks. Don't play this at any level of competitive play. I'm just being honest with you. Black Wings are also booty booty butt cheeks. People have been telling me at least play it for locals, but I'm like, man, you've got so many better choices to play for locals. Like, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, but like, what does Black Wing do that even something like fucking Dark World can't do? Like, honestly. Also, Dark World isn't on this this tier list, whoever made this. It'd go in the booty booty butt cheek category. It won't even do well at locals, especially with three of all the banishing cards. Do, don't play Dark World, please. Please. If you, if you want to have a good time at local, I'm telling you, please play something else. Uh, Thunder Dragon is booty booty butt cheek. It did well with one pro player at one event. It was like a buy steal Thunder Dragon deck, but no. No, 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 no. It's it's no good. Um, ABC Theory on Shit, the deck. It's rogue. You can have fun with it at locals. Um, let's see. Dinosaur. Same goes for Dinosaur. Uh, actually, no. What, what the fuck am I doing? Dinosaur goes in the booty booty butt shit category. You can still have fun with it at locals. Relax your anus. But I feel that overall, it's still just... It goes in the booty booty butt shit category. Uh, let's see here. Math Mech. Ooh. Piece of candy. Um, I gotta put it in rogue. Math Mech's really falling off. You know, if, if you would have told me, like, four months ago, hey, Avery, like, Math Mech is only going to be a rogue deck, it's not going to be that good, I would have laughed in your face, because, I mean, the deck is just so strong. Being able to end on a Deco Talker Heat Soul, drawing a couple cards, and having um, the Infernity Barrier Trap, uh, and then also having, I think it's, what, Sign at Conflict, and then also having Super Factorial in your back row, and just flipping up that Factorial to make whatever kind of boards you need for the matchup, is fantastic. But now that, like, the ban list came through and subtly changed things, but still changed things regardless, I don't feel like Math Mech is going to see a lot of play. It's a damn shame, because the deck is really good when it pops off. Uh, same for Medulce. They have the Vernalizer Fairies, but, like, if the deck just loses to itself, like Phantom Knight, like, it's just... Both these end up being booty. Like, you can play both of these decks, like Phantom Knight Brave and Medulce Vernalizer Fairies and shit, at Locals, but man, if you try and take this to an event higher than your locals, even depending on what your local metagame is, like you're just gonna have a really hard time, man. Like it's it's not pretty at all. Um, Sword Soul. So the whole deck got reprinted in Mama. Whole oh, Mama. Um, God, I don't even think I can even put this in Rogue. Like, how do you beat these tier one decks up here? Like, you you just can't. I gotta put in the booty booty butt cheek category. It's just too fair. And I feel like with all the banishing cards that we're now gonna have in this new format, I just I don't see a world where Sword Soul can compete. And that's, that's a damn shame. Like it used to be up here, and now it's just down here. Like there's it, it just can't do anything, man. Um I gotta put Adding Nister and Rogue. Yeah. I, I'm I'm still debating on the Sword Soul thing. I'm going to put it in Rogue, because even though it's too fair, it can still make decent boards. I'll, I'll give it that. Ending on a Baron and a Chang Ying is, is cute for locals. Same goes for Attic Nister. Um, and same goes for Earthbox, too, honestly. Like, a lot of these decks, you can play at locals. Um, you know, even though we're in a two zero format, having a lot of choices for locals is not a bad thing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, just Attic Nister and Earthbox, just... 
they're they're cool like ending on a six thousand beat stick is cute you won't lose to mystic mind anymore but outside of that like if if one of these top decks breaks your board like that that's just it chief I've said it before and I'll say it again. I do think that DDD is now booty booty butt cheeks. Um, if you spent $25 on a spreadsheet, you wasted your fucking money. I know I say it every tier list, but I just like to push that home because now look, the deck is dog shit. It doesn't do anything. And you wasted $25 on a spreadsheet to learn the combos that are now irrelevant. Don't waste money on a spreadsheet, folks. Watch a YouTube video to do it for free or watch one of my videos and just do it for free. Let's see. Heroes. So they did get Ian Shuffle. I'll give it Rogue. I'll give it Rogue. It's good for locals, especially if you're like uh, the guy at my local. Shout out to my homie Kevin Perez, who meta calls for locals, plays fucking Prohibition and calls Fallen to Albaz and just stares at his opponent with a big old smile. Uh, Ian Shuffle makes this deck do really cool stuff. Like, I got to give it props to that. Uh, let's jump around here a little bit. I don't know what the fuck this is. I think this is like Sun Avalon or something or Witchcrafter or Labyrinth or something. It, it's booty. It's it's not top tier. Tri Brigade, I saw a replay, I forget from who, I think it was Yaxine, where they were doing some cute things with Ptolemyus, where, like, they can skip the opponent's turn. Still seems really the rogue. Loses to fucking Nibiru. Um, also, Cash I just realized, Cash Tira is not on this list. Cash Tira would be tier two. Um, even with the new support, though, it still loses to fucking Nibiru. Like, you gotta play it as going second deck right now. And I just feel like it's it's just tier two. If it can't pop off, it's gonna lose the ballgame. Um, Mare... This is Marin says, right? Yeah, Marin says. Hey, it's booty booty budgie. It's not keeping up with anything. I wouldn't even play this for locals. Like, I'm, I'm not fucking with you. I don't, don't, don't even play this at locals. You're better off playing Elder Lich. And like, honestly, I'm just gonna put this in the booty booty budgie category because we have so much banishing now. Like, <laughs> rest in peace, Elder Lich. Uh, Salad is booty. There's always gonna be that one guy at a regional though that does well and beats me with it because I always lose to fucking Salad no matter what deck I'm playing. It's, it's really disgusting how that happens. Dragon Link. I gotta put it in tier two. The buy steals really help the deck out a lot, and I'm willing to give it credit for that. Same goes for Drytron. Drytron is they've got one Herald of Orange Light, and they're like, who gives a shit? Like, <laughs> they don't they don't need Herald of Orange Light to beat you. They're just gonna make you skip your main phase and like just whoop your ass. Um spell books aren't doing a fucking thing. <laughs> Stop. Like, no. Maybe you can play it in an engine in something, in like one of these top tier decks. That's cool, but just straight spell books, like you dropping out Blue Boy and you gonna get a judgment. This is 2013, I'd be scared of your judgment. I don't give a fuck about your judgment. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh pendulums, don't don't spend money on a spreadsheet. Don't don't be that guy. Um, I'll put it in rogue. No, I gotta put it in booty. It can't keep up. I'm sorry. Predator plant, no. Punk. If you mix punk with something else, maybe. But other, and, and you know what, even, same goes for Predator Plant, same goes for Predator Plant, you mix it in with like one of the top decks, you might see something, Mystic Minds banned, so it automatically goes in the booty booty ass cheek category, yes I said ass cheek, <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is so lopsided, <laughs> this is so lopsided for the booty booty butt cheek in the row category, but man, when you've got a boo boo stain like tear element running around, like and you just have such better options between, like, these four things. Or, well, really, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, between these four options, like, you start getting into the rogue and booty category. Like, it's really hard to justify, man. Like, it, even if Runic was on here, Runic would go in rogue. Because, like, it, especially with the loss of Mystic Mine, like, that's a big reason why a lot of these decks flop into into Rogue or Booty Booty Butt Cheeks, because Mystic Mine was such a card. Like, honestly, I would put, pre-new support, I would put Sky Striker in the Butt Cheek category. Because, like I said before, the deck is held together by Gorilla Glue, Tape, and Mystic Mine. And now Mystic Mine's gone, so the deck just falls apart like a pile of cards. Like, I, I beat the deck with fucking Cash Tira, with the new support. Like, it's not scary. So... I'm not saying that these decks can't compete, but when you are in a tier zero format like this, you've got to be on your A game if you're going to be playing these road decks. You've got to build your deck to beat tier. Period. End of discussion. So guys, let me know what you think about this tier list down in the comments below. Is there a deck that I missed that I didn't think about or just didn't talk about? I always take someone else's tier list that they make, honestly, kind of shadily on tier maker because I don't want to make one myself. So whoever made this missed out on a shit ton of decks, clearly. Uh, but guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.